Hello fellow gamers, Crypty Panther here. I haven't done a rant video in a long time. It's been a while. I've been preoccupied with uh, doing a lot of live streaming. Uh, I've been preoccupied with uh, podcast stuff, game of the week for Beyond the Controller, um, life in general. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't really do a lot of videos now. I'm doing a lot of live streaming, uh, playing just games with friends, having fun. But uh, this weekend, um, BioWare um, and EA, the Anthem demo, the VIP demo, VIP demo for anyone who pre-ordered, uh, who was Origin Access premier member, um, get access to um, the Anthem demo. So I was like, cool. I know when they done their their server testing, like the alpha that was under NDA. Uh, I know there was some stuff leaked online. I read some stuff posted on Reddit um, and other things as well. Uh, but the thing was working very well. So. I was like, well, I'm interested. I did play a lot of Destiny back in the day. I uh, played some Destiny 2, just at just a bit of timing. And when Destiny 2 came out for me, a lot of my friends, um, even though we did play it, we just never seen the Beyond Light at the same time. I never get back into Destiny, and I've abandoned it completely. Um, but Anthem coming out, okay? It's it's a looter shooter. Um, you know, I mean, it's from Bioware. They make some usually make some pretty decent games. Um, I'm not a huge Bioware fan. I don't follow a lot of developers. Um, you know, outside of the, the ones that develop some of my favorite games. We're not going to get into that. That's not the discussion here. The discussion is the article that was posted on PC Gamer. It says, Bioware apologized for Rocky Anthem demo. Infinite load problems persists. So, I've played the VIP demo. I have Origin Access Premiere, uh, along with a friend of mine. And um, so, we thought, well, let's jump in and play some... Some, some of the Anthem demo. Let's live stream that shit. Let's play it. Let's have some fun. Let's fly around and let's, you know, explore the world. Let's shoot shit. You know, all kinds of, all kinds of fun is going to be had. Like, we were all primed. So I got my stream all set up and made a thumbnail, you know, the whole shoot and match. Get all my shit set up to go and stream it. And I get into the game. I mean, my buddy get infinite loading screens. All right. So I messed around for a little while with it. But it was like, well, it's, it's, it's not really doing anything. This is not... You know, I want to play with friends. I don't play with random strangers. This isn't fun. So, anyways, as I was playing, I ended up getting killed, and uh, I was stuck in an infinite respawning screen. I'm like, all right, I guess that's it. Alt F4, kill the game. Bye bye, Anthem. Whatever, we're done. The next day falls, but in my post in our chat, he says, "I'm gonna play some Anthem." So I'm like, "Are you actually gonna get in this time?" You know, made a joke. Anyways, he messaged said he actually get into the game. I'm like, cool. So I'm like, let's live stream this. Let's do it. So I set all my shit back up, change all my stuff that was from the last game I streamed, you know, the whole stuff. And boom, we get in the game, load it up. And guess what? I get the infinite loading screen. So I have to quit the game, go back in, you know, can't get back in with friends, invite friends since the squad's full. Shows there's an empty spot on the squad, but still can't get into each other's games. Um, my buddy had to kill and restart his game like twice. Um, I actually was, was playing with some randoms, no mics, because you know, playing with randoms on PC, you don't have any, I don't think there's really in-game communication I know of, but, um, I mean, I fought up like a wave of enemies and shit, and was on the next, the next screen, we went to load in, and boom, oh, my game decided it didn't want me to do anything, um, so I tried to load on to my, uh, tried to party up with my buddy of mine, and guess what happened, I get stuck in the loading screen again for the second time, so I'm, I'm done, I alt F4, and I leave the demo, and I'm done with it, I go on to play something else. So this article comes out. So I know my experience was shit. I know my friends uh, doing work. Uh, you know me, brought in the controller. I know his experience was shit. Um, another friend of ours was trying to download it, and I don't know if he even got into bother playing it after the experience we had. And uh, a few friends of ours, um, and I had read some comments online. They were saying that um, the console seemed to be a little bit better. Some people were still having freezing problems and loading problems, etc. But what shocked me the most was after they done a technical test, you know, a server stress test kind of deal, an alpha, so to speak, and and people argue with the point where, oh, it's a server test, it's not designed for you to actually play the game. Well, I don't know, I played in many alphas, many that are under NDA, which I you know, I don't know if their NDA exists after you after the demo or the alpha or whatever you want to call it, so long available. I don't know. I, I'm not a lawyer, but I played multiple games that were under NDA um, where you couldn't speak about them, couldn't talk about them, and those games played a lot better than Anthem. Um, back in the day, Destiny had an alpha and a beta. I was in both, and that game was fine. The alpha beta was, were, were butter smooth, you know, the same as the actual launch of the game. So with Anthem coming out with that technical test, which was complete trash, for a lot of people, some people had no problems. Some people had a lot of problems. So they come out with the demo. 
And this is like, what do you want, two weeks before launch? Two or three weeks before launch. So it says here, and I'm going to kind of read through the article. And like I said, I just give you my experience. Here's, here's, here's the report. Here's here's some information, a little bit of a little bit of information and, and response back from the from the team over at Bioware. So uh, Anthem's IPTM has been fraught with problems. No shit. Players unable to log into the game. That was day one, uh, and can, I think it do continue as well. It does continue as well. Or have faced an infinite loading screen when moving between in-game areas. Others have struggled to get stable performance, even with top-end rigs. Some of the and some of the PC settings, such as adjusting his resolution, don't work properly. Uh, I'm going to make one statement here: the loading of the game. I I, I, mean, I don't have a beast of a rig. It's not you know it's it's not a i7 8400K. It's not a 1080 or 2080 Ti. It's 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 a good rig though. It's it's it plays pretty much most games on either high or even some on ultra. The game my rig's decent. It's pretty beefy. You know maybe not to some people, but it is to me. And a buddy of mine doing work, his his CPU is similar to mine, and his graphics card is better than mine, and he had problems. So stable performance out of uh, PCs that are even classed as high-end rigs, um, adjusting screen resolution, etc. One thing that pissed me off was loading in the game. The fucking I have my I adjust my volume in my to my PC for pretty much every game I play. And there's a few games where the audio is loud and kind of you know the intro songs or the music is kind of loud. The fucking intro to this game was loud as fuck. And I had my volume on my PC in half. If I had actually left to turn it up, I probably would be deaf to this day. I'm like, fuck, man, it's a Bioware game. I now need hearing aids. Thank you very much. So, we go on here. So, um, so there's a big... The, Bioware has apologized for the problems, explained this hap... Uh, explained why they happened and outlined some of what it's going to do to fix... Uh, Anthem ahead of its next month's release. Uh, Bioware's head of uh, live service denied that the issues were caused by Bioware under planning for server capacity. Um, day one, it says servers were full and people couldn't log in. So how is that um, a server capacity issue? So it says here, to ensure stability, we intended to manage our servers to match player population as it grew. Well, it didn't happen, though. He said, overall, we had excess capacity prepared for population increases and continue to do so. Well, apparently it didn't fucking work. Apparently your fucking processes and your capacity you were prepared for, uh, you underestimated it because you didn't fucking, people couldn't get logged in. Um, the problems were caused by a spike of players entering the game when the demo launched. Um, but you were prepared for that, though, right? You were prepared for for a capacity of the population to increase, but then all of a sudden people joined the game and, and everything went to shit. All right, good stuff. Glad to know that you're on top of things, which led to issues that Bioware didn't see during internal testing. Um, no shit, because how do you internal test a fucking you know a demo that's released to all your pre-orders? Hope people cancel their pre-orders after this. Um, so it goes on here and it says, uh, blah, 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 players pre-ordered bonuses and demo access were also uh, playing up. And you've had a specific combination of a total in which you could have been locked out of the demo. You could have been locked out of the demo, we believe, <laughs> resolving most of these in addition to cases where... So people that had um, pre-orders and demo bonus accesses actually couldn't get into the game at all. So that's amazing. So hey, pre-order and pay all this extra money for these bonuses. And guess what? You can't play our fucking demo. Um, I like this here. The infinite loads issue looks like the most troubling and potentially the most difficult to solve. Great. Less than a, less than a month away from launch and they have problems they don't know how to solve. This is great. I mean, this is good news for all the Anthem fans out there. Uh, Bioware saw isolated cases uh, of it during testing but believed to be fixed. Apparently not. Um, two people that I know, myself, I know myself and my buddy of mine, the problem, along with a multitude of other people on the internet. Unfortunately, the problem is exuber, ex, 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 anyways, the big word that I can't pronounce for some reason this morning. Um, <laughs> in the world where differences with players, ISPs, and home networks introduce new behavior, he said, adding that it would be difficult to fix before the demo ends today. Um, these were ex, ex, Extubated. I can't pronounce that word. I know what the word is. For some reason, I just can't pronounce it. So make fun of me all you want. So, um, so they try to blame it on the net, on the internet, 
um, ISPs and people's home networks. Well, it ain't blamed on mine. I have fucking gigabit fiber, um, and everything else I play is not a problem. So stop blaming someone else for your fucking shortcomings. Um, oh, man. He finished a blog post by apologizing for the issues and saying that everyone who played the demo would get an additional new vinyl at launch. Oh, so you pre-ordered a game, paid for extra bonuses, we're all excited to play a demo, you pre-ordered, you had Origin Access Premier, yada yada, and you couldn't play it, or you got locked out, or your game crashed, or your PC couldn't run it even though it's a $2,000 high-end rig. Um, oh yeah, all these problems, but guess what we're going to do for you? Here's a skin for your character if you ever actually keep the pre-order and actually get to play the fucking game. I'm, I'm seeing the delay. I'm seeing fucking EA so scared that they're gonna have the massive flop of this multi-million dollar game on day one. They're gonna they're gonna pump in their brakes on this. Uh Bioware this is one thing I like too. This is this is funny. Bioware has since released a potential workaround for the infinite loading screens, which is to close the game client, relaunch it, and have asked you to join the expedition, press the indicated button to connect. Oh my god. So our game is an infinite loading screen. So what you need to do is quit the game and then relaunch it. So imagine if you're playing a mission and there's like loading of screens in between, you know, some of the missions or cutscenes. And every time you get to a mission or cutscene, boom, you got to fucking quit the game. How long are you going to keep doing that? I tell you, but once. That's about it. So apparently Ant the Lead Producer Ben Irvo has addressed criticisms of the PC version on Reddit. Um, he said the PC version is an afterthought. Oh, sorry, user, uh, Mushroom, sorry, sorry, the Redditor posted and called the PC version an afterthought is a good summary of issue players are facing from negative mouse acceleration to permanent motion blur, even when turn, even when you turn it off in the menus. Um, so in which it's, it's something Bo came across in testing. In response, Irvo said the Anthem demo is running on an old build and that Bioware has fixed many mouse and keyboard issues, including input lag and mouse acceleration in its latest build. Uh, performance also was boosted in subsequent builds, which could solve some of the problems players are facing. You know, so I get it. Demos are usually older builds. But why in the fucking hell would, that, would you use a broken build that you know is broken as your fucking demo? This is a demo going out to pre-order people. It's not like it's a, a you know, it's like, oh, well, here's the, we're, we're going to give you, a, here's a taste of the game. Try it out if it works, if it works, whatever. We have, we have a, you know, a, a special demo coming. It's a newer build. We're coming, we're going to put it out for the, all the, all the, you know, the VIPs. And I'm putting air quotes up. I don't have my cam on, but air quotes around VIP. And you'll be able to, oh, play the close to, the close to final build demo. So you know what the game is really going to be like. But no, instead they decide, hey, let's 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 give the let's give everyone who pre-ordered our game a broken fucking build, a demo from how old? Because man, this was this is a fucking massive failure. Um, he says all in all, it looks like EM Bauer have their work cut out before the open demo launches on Friday. So they're so they had a a um, let's see this, they had a VIP demo for pre-orders only this weekend, um. And now they couldn't handle, the servers couldn't handle that. The game was broken as shit. Infinite loading screens, um, game crashes, performance, uh, PC performance is in the toilet, etc., etc. So now they're going to have an open demo. It launches this Friday coming. And the state of the game is going to be a better idea of how quickly the dev team are fixing problems. So everybody, everybody who pre-ordered the game got handed a pile of shit. And all the people who did pre-order the game get a chance to play an open demo that may have some fixes or may not. Um, um, I like I said, I said that this this has potential. They're gonna pump the brakes on this and they're gonna delay it. I'm um, I'm gonna be fucking surprised if they don't. If this weekend's um, um, public uh, demo uh, tanks, I see I see the brakes being pumped seriously. Um, oh, it says in here, it says, Bioware has announced, uh, sorry, Bioware has announced that they will unlock all four jab ones for anybody who took part in this week's VIP demo, and you'll be able to use them in the open demo next weekend. 
So I guess in the demo there was only the one, the one javelin, which I, I wasn't sure how you change javelins. Which that's the body suit you ride in. Um, so, man, ah, this is this is a flaming train wreck, and in my opinion, it's it's a massive, massive fucking failure right now. The way it sits, and yes, I know. I've mentioned it, and I've defended some demos and alphas and betas, etc. before by paying. They're on old builds. But, like I said, they know... They, sorry, they know. They knew these problems existed. But yet, they just put it out there and let everyone else see their failings. Why the fuck would you do that? Why wouldn't... Why? Why would you do that? I am fucking blown away by this stupidity of the fucking developer and the publisher and this whole thing. Oh man, I'm. I don't want to see a, a a game fail, but man, like fuck, get your shit together. I mean, if it wasn't for Origin Premiere, I would not. I would not be buying this game. I would not be playing this game. I mean, I guess if I wasn't for Origin uh, Premiere, I wouldn't even have got the demo. But. Man, just from, from seeing and hearing everything that's out there, man, I would be so terrified if I had a pre-order I couldn't cancel. Man. I don't know what else to say. I just If you got a pre-order you can't cancel and you've had a chance to try this and you had a really, really shitty experience, I'm, I'm sorry. And I hope the hell they can pull it off and not fuck over all the people who pre-ordered. I'm hoping this comes turns out to be something. Because, I mean, I have Origin Premiere, and I'm going to be playing it when it comes out. At least to test, at least to try it out, you know. But this is, this is uh, as of right now, I, I'm, I'm sad for anyone that is stuck with this game who's paid it for it at full price or pre-ordered a special edition. And this potentially could be a giant dumpster fire. But yeah, that's the end of the rant, I guess. And like I said, I, I, I don't want to see the game fail, but man, this is, this is, this is a huge... Huge slap in the face to everybody that's pre-ordered the game. Anyways, that's it for me. And uh, this might be the end, for, end, end of Bioware. Who knows?